Hello everybody and welcome back to the book diary on my handmade Settlers of Catan board. Today I'm going to show you guys the second experiment with making trees and fields. Uh, the ones I did, made last week I wasn't really happy with so I decided to try doing it a different style and uh, this is how I did it. Okay, so to make the field I simply rolled out some super sculpty firm in three millimeter thick sheets. And then using a knife and a toothpick to keep my cuts straight, I cut some uh, planting rows into the Super Sculpey. Now I tried a couple of different ways with a uh, ice cream stick, uh, with a toothpick, but I, this is the way I decided to go with at the end, just a knife with a toothpick. And I also varied the direction of the cut, to give the design a bit more variance. When I was done making all the planting rows, I came back with a steel brush and scratched the top of the field. And this will make it seem as if the wheat is blowing in the wind. Different direction than the planting rows. This was done. It was time to make the trees. I simply took some green stuff, stuck it to the end of a toothpick, and then covered that with some Super Sculpey. This will make the Super Sculpey stick to the toothpick and not tear away as I shape. After putting the Super Sculpey on the stick, on the green stuff, I used my fingers to fold it into a cone shape. use the knife to give it this tiered look, kind of like a Christmas tree. Then, using a sculpting tool that I made, I scratch in lines going top to bottom just to make it look more like a Christmas tree. And to make a tree with a different silhouette, I used the same green stuff and sculpting method, but instead of giving it a cone shape, I rolled it into a ball. And then using a brush, I simply postmarked the surface with those dots. And this will make it look like it's covered in leaves when I paint it. And I just wanted to see how it looked, so I put some, some sculpey on the table and built up a tiny forest. You can see it looks pretty nice, but not quite realistic enough. So I made these tiny stumps out of some more Super Sculpey and stuck it to the surface. This looks way better. You can, can see compared to the piece on the left, it's the old force. This is a marked improvement on the previous design. I think I'm going to copy the, that tiny mountain that I made with the actual tile. But I'm pretty happy with these trees. I'm, I think I'm gonna make some more of these and, and then make some uh, silicon casts out of them so I can make them more. Now after I made the trees, I wanted to make some bushels of wheat. And I used the same technique with the sculpey and the green stuff. Instead of giving it a cone shape, I made it kind of like a figure eight shape. Uh, pinching at the top and then using the sculpting tool to etch lines going top to bottom from the pinched part down. I'm using my brush to kind of make these tiny divots at the top and make it look as if this bushel is made out of smaller bushels. It came out pretty nice. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead with these designs and make the actual tiles and this will be the, that will be the next work diary. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment down in the and the comments really help the channel grow. I've been all catch you on the next one. Until then, have an awesome week. Keep safe and play ton of board games. Bye.